We just got to Bethel Woods. Yeah, well, we're still in the parking lot. Yeah. We had to park really far away because of the bus. A lot of people here. <laughs> Told you you'd get whistled at. <laughs> I think people are just whistling in general. No, that was a whistle at you. Yeah. Really nice. I love you to Straight down. Welcome to Bethel Woods. No hoverboard. Yeah, they're they're a lot of fun, and you know we we could I guess if we, if we had to live in it, you know you still you're constantly working on them. It's like you're constantly working on your house. Yeah. So there you go. Like, yeah. Have, that's how we feel about it. Like, Thanks you know, so we much. Have the bus, so it's, yeah. There's always projects. There's projects in your homes, and there's yeah. projects in your cars. You just happen to be living in it.
Dive Jam up next. these two nurses, nursing students. Hmm. So we all got to talk in the five of us. Is it okay if I record? Your story? Sure. Okay. And uh, so they're passing around an underground paper that's talking about what we'd already heard about it, but um, it was talking about Woodstock. And my one buddy says, hey, you were born in Middletown, New York. Do you know how to get there? Yep. The five of us got up from the bar, got into my car, and drove her. Nice. Just like that. And uh, so did you beat all the traffic then? Well, Hopefully. and I knew the back roads in and out. Mm -hmm. So we took the back roads and it was, we were, uh, then, after we were all muddy, we got in the car, drove to my grandmother's in Middletown, New York. Mm -hmm. She opens the door and showers. So we all took showers, came down, and her dining room table, she was a fabulous cook. Um, 
dining room table was spread from one end to the other with a typical New York meal. Sliced beef tongue, fresh Harvard beets, I mean, wonderful food. Uh, these people all still talk about Nana's cooking. Mm -hmm. So we got done eating. She says, okay, now each of you go call your parents. And we're all like, oh, Nana, well, of course, I was busted. I had to do it. Mm -hmm. But they're all like, no, Nana. She said, no, you go call your parents. Because, of course, of the news, it was a disaster, and everybody's going to be worried. What we didn't understand, Nana was brilliant. We weren't at Woodstock. We were at Grandma's house. Mm. And so it was a free pass to Woodstock for everybody that we made those phone calls. Yeah. Was, and we've been back many times. Uh, I brought our daughter to the 20th. I brought Sally to the 25th. I came to the second. We, we were here three years. We've been here a lot of times. Mm -hmm. um, so is there a group of you that all still stay in contact? The, of the, the first five one? of us, well, one has passed, sadly. But mm -hmm. of four of the five of us were still in touch. Yeah. Yeah. I guess so, this is a, an experience that would keep you, bring you it, together yeah, yeah. for it's a one of the, Right, yeah. right. It's one of those things, you know. It's like, wow, what did we do? You, know, <laughs> you had no idea at the time. Are you going to the shows tomorrow also? No, just, just to tonight. We got tickets. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry we didn't get to see Arlo the other night. Oh. Although we've seen Arlo in concert. I see what you mean. Yeah, so I'll wire it up, dear. This is a torturous thing. <laughs>